Hello everyone, my name is Julie Niederhauser and I'm the Public Library Coordinator for the Alaska State Library. And I'm going to be sharing information about the uh, statewide summer reading program. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop my video and share my screen with you. Great. Okay, as I mentioned, um, I'm Julie Niederhauser, the Public Library Coordinator for the Alaska State Library. And one of my responsibilities is to oversee the statewide summer reading program, which provides participating libraries with a summer reading manual, a basic starter kit of promotional materials, and training to support summer reading programming. This year's summer reading theme is Read Beyond the Beaten Path. And this theme encourages readers to get outside and explore the natural world. Before I share information um, about how your library can participate in the statewide summer reading program, I want to share why the Alaska State Library sponsors a statewide summer reading program. We support public libraries in offering summer reading programs because these programs support literacy. Summer reading programs help children develop the lifelong habit of reading for pleasure. They lessen the effect of summer learning loss and provide children with access to books. Summer reading programs foster creativity and inquiry in children, and they support positive peer relationships. And quite frankly, these programs are fun. All of us, schools, public libraries, after school programs, and nonprofits and families must work together to support literacy efforts for Alaska's children. Alaska's fourth and eighth graders scored below the national average in both reading and math, according to national test results that were released um, on October 30th of 2019. And for the second year in a row, Alaska fourth graders placed last in the nation for reading uh, with average scores of 207. One of the requirements of a public library receiving the public library assistance grant is that they offer children's programming and a summer reading program is a wonderful way for them to meet that requirement. So as I mentioned, the Alaska State Library sponsors a statewide summer reading program specifically for public libraries. And on the slide is the URL to our statewide summer reading program webpage. Last year, 60 library outlets and 14 branches participated in the statewide summer reading program. And each fall, libraries that want to participate in the program complete an online form which is embedded in the statewide summer reading program webpage. When a library director registers to participate in the program, they indicate if their library will be offering programs for children, teens, and or adults. And they also provide us with an estimate of how many um, participants will be engaged in their programs. Each library that registers for the program will receive a starter kit with promo promotional materials, and they gen generally receive it by um, sometime in March or April 1st. And the promotional materials that they receive is based on those participation estimates that they've provided to us. So we have some libraries that may have only 12 children participating in, a, um, in their summer reading program. And then in our urban um, areas, such as in Anchorage, we may have up to 3,000 children participating in the program. In August, libraries that participate in the program uh, are required to submit a final report and an evaluation. And the information that they provide us in their evaluation um, is reported back um, to our grant funders. So the statewide summer reading program is a grant funded program. The Alaska State Library has a, a memorandum of understanding with the iRead program. Um, iReads was created by the Illinois Library Association, and they develop and publish an annual summer reading manual and also work with children's illustrators to develop the graphics and promotional materials that support their annual summer reading theme. Um, and it's been a wonderful relationship with iReads so far. 
and we really appreciate the quality of the materials that they provide us. In 2020, when the pandemic shut down, so many uh, libraries and librarians were unable to provide in-person summer reading programs. The Alaska State Library purchased the license to the Beanstack uh, Reading Challenges platform, which allowed um, libraries to um, have families participate um, in these reading challenges. Um, and it was a way for them to offer a summer reading program virtually. And we've continued with that subscription. So as you can see, this is a graphic on the screen of the 2022 um, Beanstack um, main page. And it's showing the, um, the, the illustrations are from the um, summer reading theme. So the Beanstack site is used to support the statewide summer reading program by offering summer reading challenges for preschoolers, children, teens, and adults. Uh, readers have the opportunity to participate in read a challenge that has them read 10 books, or they can um, participate in a challenge that has them read for 10 hours. It's really up to them. The Read Beyond the Beaten Path challenges will open on Saturday, May 14th. And they'll run through August. As I mentioned, the Alaska State Library also supports summer reading program by, for, by providing uh, training opportunities for youth services staff who lead these programs. Um, some library summer reading programs are ran by volunteers, such as an interested parent. And so we do try to provide a training that supports them in offering quality programming um, in their libraries. So we provide in-person workshops um, when we can, <laughs> uh, either during the ECLA annual conference um, or uh, a couple of years ago, we offered a, uh, a workshop in Anchorage um, that was supporting kind of a, we had a space theme that year. And so they had some uh, trainers who were providing uh, librarians with um, resources from NASA on how they can incorporate those pro those um, educational resources into their summer reading programs. And that was quite fun. On March 18th, we're gonna be offering a virtual uh, full day uh, uh, workshop. It's called Resetting for Success. And uh, we have several sessions. Some of them are from um, experienced youth services librarians in Alaska who've helped develop this workshop. So it really is youth services librarians developing a workshop for other youth services librarians in Alaska. And we're quite excited about that, um, this upcoming program. We uh, occasionally offer a webinars. We'll um, invite youth services librarians from around the state to share what they plan to be doing for their summer reading program and kind of have a panel webinar. We did that last year and it was hugely successful. And the quality of um, the activities and the partnerships that librarians are um, working in their communities with other partners to support summer reading. It's so exciting to see the good work that's happening around our state. We've also developed a programming ideas for librarians live guide that has a whole tab of resources for summer reading and, and other programs as well. And that's actually one of our most popular uh, lib guides. People from uh, Alaska and <laughs> other states as well use that resource uh, for ideas on how to um, provide programming in their libraries. So I hope that you um, will participate in the statewide summer reading program. If you have any questions about the program, you can always reach out to me. You can call me at 465-2916 or shoot me an email and at, um, let me know that your library is interested in participating in the program. We have been doing this program for quite a while and it's been very successful. Um, and it's always a joy to read those final reports from librarians and hear the wonderful uh, stories and um, the good work they've been doing around the state. So thank you for uh, joining us today. I'm gonna stop this shot, this uh, share and stop the recording.